Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 68 Easily Draw Shapes Using Action Script 3. Starting a new FLA, I'm selecting Action Script 3 and I want to put a grid on, so let's go down to 50% for a minute on my stage. View rulers there's the rulers and notice that this is the x coordinate of zero and this is the y coordinate of zero so let's click here and drag over a line there just for now click up here and drag down here I'm on the that would be x right there that would be x and y at a hundred let's grab another one down here let's go 200 200 just roughly and a 300 300 and let's put a 300 400 there so now them are going to give me some ideas as where I'm at when I make my shapes pick up the straight line tool I don't care what color I have I'm going to select that frame one of this layer and I'm just going to draw those lines in with this color here. They're there, you just can't see them. I'm going to pause and do these and then get back to you. Okay, I've drawn all those. You'll see when I take these and click on these and drag them back off. These are the ones that I, the grids that I don't want to see anymore. Just take get rid of them. And what I'm leaving behind is the ones that I just made using the straight line tool in this color here. So that's going to give me some idea of where my, my items are. And just call this temp, as in TE, as in a temporary file. Lock it. Not going to use it again. Insert a layer called it Action Script, AS. And the easiest way to do this is for me to type the code in and then explain it to you. Select frame one of this actions layer, open the actions panel, and type, 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 type this code. And it says var as in a variable, rec, capital R E C, that's the name I'm giving to it, you can give it any name you want, colon, shape, S H A P E, capital S, turns blue, equals new shape, N E W, that's purple, space, S H A P E, capital S again, this is purple, this is blue open close bracket semicolon that's given us just some place to actually work with this because it's a non-existent thing so now this rec that's the name of it period graphics turns blue but spelt right period begin fill small b capital f that turns blue open bracket zero x nine nine zero 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 comma one close bracket semicolon I don't know if I said there's an open bracket here or not but there's an open bracket you can copy that and paste it or you can rewrite a new line rec period graphic period line style small g small l capital s that all turns blue if it's spelled right open bracket two comma zero x and six zeros close bracket semicolon I'm going to explain this one and the rest will just be do quicker rec again period graphic period draw rec small g small d capital R turns all blue this rec is RECT open bracket 100 comma 200 comma 100 comma 50 close bracket semicolon and this line rec period graphics period end fill small e capital F turns blue open bracket close bracket semicolon and this was add child add small a capital C open bracket rec close bracket so what takes place here is we'll explain this one to you we create a variable just a place to hold information there's going to be some fill going on when we when we make this this is the color of the fill 
zero x that's a hexadecimal number if you want to change that to different colors come down here click on this and if you look up here if I have red selected up there it says OOOF if I have this color here it's a brownish color is 993300 so that's where I'm getting this number from and it has to start with 0x that's the fill color this comma one one is the opacity of it uh, if you have zero you can't see it it's invisible one is full full opacity so that's what that line does this line is the the uh, the outside the drawing of it the outside the perimeter of the drawing the rectangle and two is the size of the of the um, the stroke line for it and it has a color that line has a color based on that hexadecimal chart this line here this 100 comma 200 comma 100 says it's on the its upper coordinates this x coordinate right here would be on this x line right here 100 and the 200 says it would be 100 on the x and 200 so it would be down here right down here on this line here and this tells me the size of the rectangle it's going to be a hundred wide and 50 high this is all in pixels and then this here line actually fills it in although I think it still works without this line and this line tells me actually to do it so now let's test this out remember it was 100 200 let's test it out and there's the 100 there's 200 so right there that's that corner and you can see it's 100 long and 50 50 high remember I just roughly drew these in so that's that one so let's take that up here forward slash asterisk asterisk is the upper case of the number 8 asterisk forward slash put an enter sign in and now let's do a different shape let's do the ellipse so type 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 the format is much the, much the same you could have actually copied a lot of it and just um, cut and paste but if you what what would be different is for certainly the variable name that would be different and here where it says draw ellipse is going to be different so I'm not going to go through all this with you uh, letter by letter word by word I'm just going to explain to you some of the some of the points uh, again this is the begin fill this is going to tell me what color it's going to be inside this is the hexadecimal number of that color and this is the opacity of it again like up here this tells me that my stroke the outside line is going to be two pixels wide and that's going to be the color of that stroke and this is telling me again where it's going to start the upper left hand corner is going to start on the 300 line and to the 50 line so 300 on the X 50 on the on the Y and it's going to be a hundred by 50 so let's look at that right quick so we're considering we're going to see it at the 300 X 50 Y test the movie here it is 300 on the X 100 200 300 and 50 on the Y would be right here so if that was a rectangle the upper left hand corner would be right there that's how that's oriented close that off let's comment this out for a couple of minutes forward slash asterisk asterisk forward slash now naturally you could make these these two the same and make a circle if you made this here 100 and this here 100 you would have a circle but there's a also a a code for circles so let's do that put a couple enters type 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 the only thing different here is the variable name I'm calling sir as in circle and here I have the word circle instead of ellipse or rectangle 
This is exactly the same for the fill. This is exactly the same for the stroke. Uh, but now, down here, this is the x coordinate for the, the center of the circle. That's where the difference comes in. Up here, if we use an ellipse, it would be based on the top left hand corner. But this is the x and y coordinate of the center of the circle, and the circle has a radius of 20. So let's test this out. What was that again? I wonder what it was. 50, 100. Test movie test. 50 on the x. There it is there. 50 on the x. 100 on. And that's the center of it. And it's about 40 pixels wide because the radius is 20. All right. I think there's another one. Forward slash asterisk. Asterisk forward slash. A couple of enters. And this last one is the triangle. Type, 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 type. Um, it's much similar to the other one that we made. Very similar to the one we, I made in a previous uh, tutorial where I'm, I'm drawing individual lines. But in the other tutorial, I made a, n a new shape for each one, and we didn't have a fill. So again, it's going to be called triangle. This is the style for the the um, the outside of it this the, the three sides of the triangle one pixel and this color uh, this is the fill that's going to be inside of the triangle and these are the x coordinates so I'm going to start at the 200 uh, on the x 300 on the y draw a line that goes from there to 450 on the x 300 on the y then draw a second and second line that goes to the 350 on the X to the 200 on the Y and then back to where I started from. And there's the triangle. And if you wrote these down, these points here, this point, this point, and this point, the three of them, they would be this one, this one, and this one based on your X and Y coordinates. So now let's get rid of all these comments for a minute. Get rid of all them comments. And we should see all them shapes drawn. And there they are. I'm going to do one more of these of these and I'm going to actually draw a house with some clouds in the sky and I'm going to actually have the clouds move across the stage all with action script 3. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.